Well, I'm glad you called me. I, I know you guys are close today, so. We are, just yeah. about to wrap things up. Good deal. So we've been following our remodel home, our project with Aaron, and uh, today is the finishing touches. There are just a few little things to do, but all in all, the homeowners are getting ready to take possession of the new quarters. So you want to show us around? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, man. The lighting makes such a difference in here. Yeah. It does. Hey, Corey. Hey, Jim Rick. Good, good. Looks like you're recessing a mirror. Yeah, we're putting this in the wall. Okay. All right, good. Well, if you need help with that, I'll be in the other room. So. Gotcha. Okay. Figures. Yeah. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit. So, last time I was here, I think you guys are working on tile floors. So, you've put installed cabinets now, and there may have been some cabinets. Um, going in at that time as well, but I remember the tile floors, mm -hmm. we had cabinets, all the little decorative fixtures, the shower, yeah, so what do you think? Yeah, so yeah, last time we were here we were kind of looking at, you know, I think we were putting some Schluter on the wall mm -hmm. for the waterproofing and then Corey was getting ready to maybe start that or was in that process, so yeah, we've added uh, the shower glass as well as um, finished our tile floor, we have all of the, the cabinetry in. We've added the wallpaper to the walls. Okay. So yeah, we're just at that final stage. So I like the wall covering. So that's really been a new fad. It's one that was out in the 70s, but it's back. It is back, yes. So we were doing uh, a few projects, it seems like, that uh, have the wall covering. Specifically, the designers really like it and, mm -hmm. and are kind of helping folks to pick out some great colors. So it is yeah. something that seems to be coming back. It is. It's, it's funny, it's hard to find people that know how to install wall coverings now. Yes, yes it is. Very few and far between. Yeah. So. That and the gold. Yes. Gold is is the trend right now. And yeah, you've got gold accents. This is a, a neat piece. This actually is something that well, over the last 10 years has become very popular. We're able to hide the cut edge of the tile with a trim piece. So. Mm -hmm. Gold hardware on cabinets. Cabinet yes. pools. Yeah. And then you've got a light light gold on the faucets. So it all kind of goes. And you know, you can mix match, I think, colors to some degree. It's always hard to find everything in the same shade. You won't. Yep. But and that's where it, it was a little bit. If you if you look closely, there there may be a touch different in the shades because different mm -hmm. manufacturers have a, a different finish that goes with it. Yeah. And I do like the tile, the way you did a zero entry. So it makes it, you can age in place and yep. not have to worry about stumbling over a threshold. And you've also gained quite a bit of storage for clothing, it looks like. Yeah, so we, um, you know, this was a, one of the older closets. There was this one here, and then this middle section is actually the fireplace that's in the master bath, or excuse me, the master bedroom. Okay. And so, yeah, we took one of those, and then around the corner, we added a whole closet for them. Okay. I like the pull outs. This is nice. That's the next day rack. That's right. Well, it looks great. It really does. Well use of space. Yeah, a lot of, lot of cabinets in a small space to, to maximize the yeah. storage for them. Yeah. So, Corey, we were here the first day, I think, when you were doing demolition. Right. And we're here on one of your last days. So, on this, I know it fluctuates job to job. Sure. Was there any ups and downs on this one? Uh, yeah, every job. And this one is no different. Yeah, this one right here was completely broken in half when I took the drywall out, it just fell. So we're gonna replace that and then we're gonna- No exception here. No, it is not, yeah. Um, some homeowners, she knows what she wants and um, you know, sometimes they see things that they think before it goes up that that's what they want, and then they decide that they don't want it. But it's their once project. They, once they see it, they realize they don't don't Absolutely. like it. Right. I mean, I gotta change it around. Sometimes there's some delays with that too. So now, and that's really that's no different in custom homes um, from ground up. You know, sometimes you you put a wall or two up, and they're like, wow, that's, I'd rather have this instead right. of this. Space. And so right. I think that's just the way of human nature. It is. But yeah, part of the business. It is. That's why everything's unique. It's yeah. custom. So if someone wants to reach out to you, what would be the best way? Yeah, probably the, the best way is just through our website, ozarksremodeling.com, and then we have our, our office number on there, and they can see some projects and different things that we've done. Well, it's been a pleasure watching you work yeah. and having me as part of your uh, project here as well, and allowing us and the viewers to follow along in an excellent remodel. 
Um, and want to thank the homeowners too for letting us invade their privacy. Um, but the project turned out great. You guys do good work and I uh, look forward to seeing what you have in the near future. So thank you. It's been Absolutely. a fun project.